It's review time. The Still BGA86 Professional Battery Powered Leaf Blower. Clocking in at $360, we have this bad boy fully charged and ready to go. Glossing past the ergonomic, easy to use features, let's dive into the meat and potatoes. Battery life. The question and answers on their website says 24 minutes of usable time. I'm getting close to 30 minutes. The 45 minutes to 80% charge also seems to check out for me. This unit uses the 36 volt lithium ion battery, which is interchangeable with their other still 36 volt models, like their weed eaters. So if you choose other still devices, you can stretch out the usable time accordingly. The still website also gives you some cleaning and user tips, such as using it on dry material versus wet for more efficiency and strategies for clearing debris. Avoid getting this unit wet or using it in extreme cold or heat. I have a gas part model as well, which comes with its pros and cons. The gas model is $20 more, it weighs about 3 pounds more, it actually has less blowing force than the battery unit, however you don't need to wait for the batteries to charge, just add more fuel. And it's not as picky in the heat or cold, or the rain, because really that's a problem with the battery. So depending on your use, you can pick your model accordingly. Now it's time to demonstrate the effectiveness of this model. Here I am blowing away heavily silty soil and rocks off the concrete slab. This stuff doesn't come off easily with the broom, you really have to scrape at it. However, the blower is easily peeling it off the slab. Just start at one end and blow in a sweeping motion and voila! If you have wetter, stickier leaves, snow, or soil, just concentrate the blower directly in those areas. Larger debris is no problem. Weighing only 6 pounds, I can easily blow with one hand while filming in the other. This is some of the wetter, stickier soil and requires more direct force. But this really is minimal labor effort compared to the alternatives of sweeping or scraping with a shovel. Alternatively, I could wait till later in the day for this stuff to dry off a little bit, and then it'll be much easier to blow away. But even though this material is a little bit wetter, this blower still does the job easily enough, and I don't have time to watch the dirt dry. Here is some lighter sand and gravel. Let's see how well it clears the slab in a more typical scenario like this. I mean, look at that, easy enough. If time is money, this sure does save money and pays for itself. This slab took three minutes, 45 seconds. If you couldn't tell, I am pretty impressed with this unit's performance. Now, like I said, the battery model has some cons. Nuking itself in the rain is less than ideal. So you can't forget to put this away when you're done with it. Also, as it ages, or if you kill the battery too many times, or, you know, drop it in some water, a new one comes in at a whopping $270, which is insane when the entire unit is $360. But that's how they get you. Now, keep in mind, on a gas unit, you have the extra hassle of transporting extra fuel with you and the cost of having to refill the unit regularly. So in the long run, I think it does balance out. For me, the lighter weight, having a higher blow force, and not having to worry about fuel, and it being a little more user-friendly, definitely hedges it to the battery powered option for me. In my honest opinion, this is a great blower. I've had this unit for three years, I use it regularly, and I've seen no performance loss. Also, did I mention this is not a sponsor? I just genuinely like this blower. I'm gonna give it a five out of five, especially if you can pick it up on sale or sweet talk your salesman into a discount. That's it for this review. Let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions or like what you see. And don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you guys later.